Mass shootings, spree shootings, what we call active shooter events here in the United States are happening far too frequently. If you think about the typical event when it occurs, there's a media frenzy that surrounds the event. And very quickly, we know everything about the attacker that there is possibly to know. Is that something we really need to do? Should we really be focusing on the attackers? Should we really name them? Look at that, just shooting back and forth. We know that a fair proportion of these attackers are motivated by a desire for notoriety or fame. And if we know that that's one of the things that motivates these people, then one of the ways to reduce that crime may be to reduce how much notoriety and fame they get. Why would we give them what they want? We know that there's a contagion effect. That is, when they're covered widely in the media, we're more likely for about the next two weeks to see another event occur. We have cleared the building. Anderson Cooper from CNN has said he won't publicly name these attackers. And then there are journalists who say, no, we don't really agree with you and we're going to take a different route on it. And we wouldn't try to censor them or say it's forbidden. What we're talking about in general is, is shifting focus away from the guy who committed the attack. You will notice that I'm not using the killer's name. It's hard to know for certain that this would solve the problems of mass shootings, but theoretically it makes sense. We know that it's rewarding bad behavior that we might be encouraging more attacks by the coverage that we give it. Why would we do it? 